This is a a clock kit I got off eBay very cheaply. It's about three dollars ninety five Australian plus GST tax, or about two dollars seventy nine US um, at today's exchange rate. That was delivered. Um, it's quite an interesting little kit. Um, it's a 24 hour clock it doesn't operate in any other mode and it's good for somebody just starting out in electronics not necessarily their first soldering project but uh, you know after a few after they've got a bit of confidence of a few projects it's based on a AT89C2051 uh, microcontroller uh, which is what comes programmed there's also projects out there on the web to do open source programming for this particular uh, clock. Um, it runs on 6 to 12 volts, draws about 30 milliamps at uh, 6 volts. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate it is at the moment, but other people have reported it's fairly accurate. It's probably not best at best not to, to run it on batteries, they won't last that long, maybe 10 days. It's got a CR2032 backup battery here, mine didn't come included in that, I had to supply that myself. Um, it's quite a nicely made board. I'd recommend if you buy one that the very first thing you do is to check all the components very carefully. If you check all the components, check all their values and uh, be very careful soldering it together and make sure not to bridge any connections you should be okay undocumented is uh, although it's indicated on the board um, well there's no there's a couple of jumper wires you have to supply your own jumper wires one is there and one is under one of the display devices the instructions only come in Chinese and not particularly well printed either quite faint but all the component values are marked on the board um, so you should be okay um, setting it is an interesting exercise it's just got this one single micro switch here you press that once and the display goes off for some reason if you press it and hold it down you're able to set either the minutes or the seconds or sorry the minutes or the hours in 24-hour mode only but not the seconds but when you do set it the, the seconds freezes so you are able to coordinate it with some time reference using the frozen seconds now it's a little bit tricky doing this you press the buttons fairly fast and you can change the number and then you hold it down when you get to the number you want and release it and then the the hours come up and you can adjust those it is a little bit finicky sometimes it'll jump between the, t the minutes and the hours so you've got to be careful with that and then when you've got the uh, hour you want you just press it and hold it hold it down for a more than a second and there's your setting the LEDs here the marker LEDs between the numeric display they uh, stay on constantly and um, that's about it it's a fun little kit to put together just be very careful identifying all the components and their values and and uh, you should be okay um, Thank you for watching.